anti-pollution and catalytic converter fault warning messages. Let me talk you through some of the symptoms I experienced and then I'll show you how I fixed it. start to flash like that fault comes up as soon as you start driving that's what happens so and that one the one it just set off again Ignition fall now the warning light stopped and we still go this is really shaking quite badly when you stop Now when I had my anti-pollution and catalytic converter fault, this was the reason why it was failing, the coil pack. And these are really easy to replace, so it's something you could do yourself. It's just two 10mm bolts, just whip them out, take the plug off the end, and then just put the new one back in, dupe your two bolts, plug the plug back in, and you're all good, easy as pie. These can be fairly expensive, they're looking at about 60 quid. Um, but yeah, very easy to do. To replace this, the only tools you'll need are a 10mm socket for these bolts, and that's about it. So you'll need a new one of them, small ratchet. Ten mil socket, and if you're doing the 16 valve version, this is the coil pack for the 16 valve. The, the 1.48 valve coil pack looks different to this. It curves up like this. It's a bit of a pain, but uh, it's it's dead easy to replace. Dead easy. If you're doing the 16 valve, 1.4 16 valve, bring one of these. The air nozzle on the right hand side. You can use this to grip and push the little yellow tab. This will save you a headache. And that's all you need. You'll want to bring an Allen key to help release the middle and right hand breather pipe connectors. They can be hard to get under, so this will help. You can use a screwdriver to release the top clip and then you can pull out this connector. Now you don't need a spanner to release the coil pack as you can just pull it out but it can be hard to get a grip up 
So here I use a spanner to lever it off. Now the broken coil pack has been removed, we can take a quick look at the spark plugs. Now just line all the breather pipes up and push each one in firmly to reconnect it. You'll hear a click. All good. First thing to do is pull these three. Intake hoses off. Push on these little, push on these little yellow buttons. Pop on. I'm going to unplug this, just pull that little tab out of the side, and then that will pop off just like that. Undo that hose assembly, just place to one side, and that will leave you with these two. Once then bolts are un undone, just leave them in there and then you just a little bit of force remove this coil pack. Just replace this first. You can tighten them by hand. Place this first. So, so 
comes this away. That just pushes on. And just connect your hose back up. They just clip on. Check everything's okay. 